Microsoft will release earnings on July 25th. This video will answer what is our short-term, intermediate-term, and long-term predictions on Microsoft using analytics, mathematics, and statistics. Let's start off from the beginning. Microsoft will announce what will be happening with their earnings. As you know, last week, right before Netflix and Tesla announced, we told you to take your short-term positions off the table, sell half your intermediate term, but leave your long-term and leave half the intermediate term position inside of Tesla and Netflix. Both companies sold off. Spoiler, we are not scared. Spoiler, we are still in a bull market for the next three to six months, which is the sweet spot. For the next three to six months, we believe this market, the QQQs, the Magnificent Seven, AI companies, technology companies will be going upwards. We will give you today a weight of evidence why we feel this way. But before that, let's give you a disclaimer. The information provided on our channel is for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. Protect your capital by all means. We always tell you, this is not a get rich scheme. This is not a, a, a place where we promise the moon. This is probabilities. And the best probability for you is to take some of these indicators and make your own system. This will be the greatest understanding for you. But still, disclaimer, you protect your capital and you take the risk. We have positions open in every single security ETF that we recommend on this channel. But it is our risk. Let's start from the beginning. We want to look at the overall market and what we think about the overall market. On Thursday, we were telling you about the VIX. We were telling you about market sentiment. And we had a big sell-off on, on Thursday from the Tesla and Netflix. It didn't affect the Dow so much as the Dow has been up 10 days or even the spiders. But the QQQs sold off a little bit. This does not change my idea that we go from, from a bullish tone to a bearish tone because of one bad day from two big companies like Tesla and Netflix. We feel those will slowly base out the next few days and continue their upswing. But this is all about Microsoft. But to understand Microsoft, you must first look at the overall market. And the overall market, short term, we're almost full bullish, intermediate term and long term, we are bullish on the overall market. Then we break it down into the sectors. As we've been telling you since the beginning of this year, the Magnificent Seven and AI companies, we are buying it. Again, nothing has changed. Every time Microsoft sells off, we buy into it. Every time the QQQ sells off, we buy into it. It has been working since January, and we don't think that it will change. Let's go further. So if we're looking at the phases of Microsoft, we'll start from the overall market, the QQQs, bullish, growth phase, IGV, software companies, growth phase, and Microsoft alone is a growth phase. On January 18th of this year, we initially had a strong recommendation crossing 243 on Microsoft. Every time there was a pullback with our proprietary indicator hitting zero, we bought more. And every time it went to 100, we sold off a little bit of our position. And we did the same thing last week. We sold off some a little of our positions, and we will be buying it. The big question is, is the earnings. And that's really the short term. And this is taking a really a leap of faith. In, in our ideas and what we're thinking, because this is just probability. If you go and you tell your eight out of 10 times right, well, there are two times that it could go wrong or nine out of 10 is right. There is one time it can go wrong. But we are saying that into the Microsoft earnings, we are going long. We are going bullish. We are up 41% on our long-term position. 
we are up a lot more on our intermediate and short-term position, taking positions off the table. Why is that? Because anytime first you mention the word AI, the stock goes upwards. It's like the magic word. Two years ago, it was cryptocurrency. Then beginning of last year, it was commodities, believe it or not, wheat, pig's feet, and oranges. This year, it is AI. And AI keeps continuing to pull higher. So let's go over the weight of evidence. Are we trading above all three moving averages? Yes, we are. Is the stock in an uptrend? Yes, it is. Are we intermediate and long-term bullish on the technology and software sector? Yes. Are we intermediate and long-term and even short-term bullish on Magnificent Seven and all AI companies? Hell yes, we are. Nothing has changed. In fact, when we warned you last week that a short-term pullback was coming, now the short-term pullback is coming. We're at a level on our proprietary indicator at 4.6. We could go lower at zero. But let's talk about this a little bit. Let's say we're wrong. Let's say we pull into Microsoft earnings and it announces horrible. And what? It drops 5 8%? Intermediate term, we feel that Microsoft will be higher at these levels and even the 360 levels in three to six months. So if we're wrong on the earnings, we're just building a little bit more position in the next three, four days when it bases out. So let's look at every time we have a sell-off or just some of the times we have a sell-off. Here was a recent high. We sold off. It went up. We sold off even a little more to scare you. And then what happens? It jumps upwards. And we feel this pattern is not changing. There's no indication that this pattern is changing. And we will do it each and every time. Let's go here. Let's start from January 18th. Around here. Goes up. Pulls back. Zero. May go back a few days. Didn't go straight up. And then back up. Higher, higher, higher. Goes down. Gaps up. Higher, 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 pulls back, higher highs. Pulls back, higher highs. So now the only question is, does the earnings make this a little bit lower, maybe 5 to 7%, or it goes higher? We're saying the AI companies will announce great. And why are we saying that? It's psychological in people's head that Netflix and Tesla announce poorly. So many people will think Microsoft will announce poorly. We believe it is on an uptrend. Let's review further. The Magnificent Seven, nothing has changed for us. We're still buying into it. We told you about our short-term indicator at zero. You look at the short-term pullback here, we are at oversold levels, where last week we were at overbought levels and looking to perfection Tesla. We've quickly worked off these levels. Let's look at our components. Our components, we would love to see before the announcement, this number down to 25 or even lower on Monday into Tuesday of the announcement. These components will help us a lot. But remember when we warned you at 73 that we were going to have a sell-off, and now we went from 73 to 39 in this indicator, closer to, to our 25 would give us a better indication. Let's go to some of the indicators. MACD, buy. RMO bullish, ADX bullish, Bollinger Bands move. This is a bullish indicator, again, further pulling us to, to, to the levels that we say that this Microsoft will go higher. We are adhering to a defined plan, and this defined plan says that we are buying in before the earnings. Now, we're up 41% just on our long-term position. We've made a lot of money on Microsoft. This is our risk, our responsibility, but that's our plan. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it, peace.